In the last episode, we know how the layout is going to work on every pages. But yes, it is true that we can also create our custom layout. So to create a custom layout on this layouts directory, you need to create a new file and whatever the file name you want to give it doesn't matter so it has to be related to what you are going to do so i will i will say inspire layout dot view this is the file name and i'm going to create a scaffolding for this and here simply i'm going to define i am for inspire only and this is good but how we can override this default yes we have created the inspire layout but if i go to this inspire section that means localhost colon 3000 slash inspire we still have i am layout not i am for inspire only so this is the time to introduce you with view dev tool so open your chrome dev tool and if you are using this view dev tool then you will have this kind of tab if you don't have just go on google and say chrome view extension simply this one and you need to install it on your chrome and even if you are on uh, firefox this will this will going to work absolutely fine so yes after installing that you can see we have this kind of icon at the top right corner and obviously you will have this view tab if you don't have just restart your uh, chrome you will find this view tab and then you can see at the root we have obviously the root but then next loading then we have the default and this is actually the default uh, layout we have created this this one this is the default layout and to show this is exactly the default one i am going to create simple data and i am going to return and i will say here title is equal to i am layout so cut from there and move it here and here inside this div i'm going to show title and this means now if i go refresh this page i am layout is there but on the default you can see title is there we need to swap this default with our inspire layout so it's very easy on Nux to swap your layout file just go to the page wherever you want to create a new layout or you want to attach a new layout actually so create a script tag so here you just need to say layout and what layout you want to use and that is inspire layout very easy so inspire layout is here on this inspire.view which is actually the page inspire.view and then if i go here yes you can see we have i am for inspire only and this time inside your dev tool view dev tool you can see instead of default we have inspire but we don't have the data of the inspire file and inspire page actually that's because we are not using next simple self-closing tag so yes we need to use that self-closing tag of next and this means if i save this file go here as soon as it compile and yes you can see we have this data from our inspire.view page and this is the custom layout and inside this uh, let me just refresh this page and yes you can see now we have inspire and inside that we have a next what we have defined here this next and inside this next we have page inspire so next will prefix whatever the page name you define like inspire with the prefix of page pages actually pages inspire and inside that whatever we define so that's how we can create your custom layout and how we can attach it to single page only and in the next episode we are going to see some of the error pages in next and how we can deal with them so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye